Yeah, it's a sprawling federal bureaucracy, and it has its tentacles all over the Washington region, but also, the, as you mentioned, the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, the Food and Drug Administration. What people are focusing most on in the immediate aftermath of this uh, potential nomination is the vaccine uh, companies. And we're seeing, you know, uh, Moderna, I'm looking at, down uh, 7% today, a little bit uh, up from, from its low, uh, taking perhaps one of the hardest hits. But it's really across the, the industry. Uh, Kennedy has talked about, uh, you know, the, everything from vaccine safety, pharmaceuticals, but also even the, the food coloring that we put in children's cereals. Uh, and so if he takes this, the, the regulatory reins of this agency, which has huge influence over our, our food and drug supply, uh, you know, it could have far reaching impacts. He's talking about, you know, the fluoridation of water, something that we've taken for granted since the 1940s or 50s to prevent uh, tooth decay, uh, talking about raw milk, uh, which he's an advocate for. So we really fundamentally rethinking our food supply in the United States. And Trump has said before that after the election that he would give Kennedy full reign over health policy. And even before Trump was elected, and you even alluded to this too, Kennedy said he would recommend water agencies to stop adding fluoride to drinking water. Would he have the power to make things like that happen? Yeah, I mean, it's been so far out of the realm of discussion for the past seven decades that it's really kind of hard to get a handle on that. The, the fluoridation is done, uh, you know, largely through municipal water supplies. Uh, I'm, I'm not clear on, on how much influence the federal government has over that, other than maybe sa setting some safety standards. There are some studies that say that fluoride in very high doses uh, could have some adverse health effects, but nothing near the, the, the levels that are typically uh, in water. But I, th I think to go to your point, like th this is such a fundamental rethinking of things that we thought we knew about health and science that had been well settled uh, for, for decades now, uh, potentially rethinking at the beginning of a, of a first Trump administration.